how can we talk about the Childish Gambino album if neither of us listened to, to it? Um, whoa, these pants are fucking up big there. old upskirt today, boys and girls. Um, I was gonna, I wanted to talk about the child. Someone, so someone commented, shout out. Um, I forget your username, but he asked if we were gonna. Uh, we didn't talk about the Childish Gambino album, and I told him or them or her that uh, we would talk about it this week. Carl and I both didn't listen to it. I've heard, <laughs> I've heard bits. Uh, I haven't given it a good sit down listen though. Um, you've heard nobody gives a fuck. You heard that one, yeah. right? It's called, like, that was the single, right? I think Lolita or something. No, it's not called Lolita. That's that's the Lithonia. Lithonia. I think. Yeah, let me look it up. Um, that song slaps. Um, I like it a lot. And when I first heard. The start of this album. Um, I don't know. It was giving like a Tame Impala slow rush kind of vibe. Did you listen? Have you listened to any of it or no? Fucking none of it. Anyway, I was going to mention it because I just find it interesting that um, when it, there's certain albums and certain pieces of artwork that tra- they really they make an impact on society so much that like everybody is talking about them and everybody is aware of their existence and you know obviously if you're in certain circles like you know everyone really likes movies everyone's really into the new movies that are coming out and they discuss them and stuff like that musicians and music lovers are going to discuss and talk about albums that you know are coming out and whatever but this childish album surpasses the niche like real uh lovers of a certain medium of art and it just transcends to everybody i feel like this new album yeah i feel like i hear everyone talking about it oh i haven't really yeah i mean but you know I follow him and some of his producers, like Ludwig, on Instagram, so I've seen it a lot. But it's just like a big deal because he dropped that last. And then I know that this is his last record, so people that and also there's a full length feature film, right? That's dropping with it. Yeah, they're not with it. It hasn't come out yet, but yeah, I mean he's done that in the past. Like he did that that uh, movie, that short film with Rihanna, uh, that went along with something that he did. If I'm not mistaken, I think this is like a full ass movie. Did you see uh, what he did for the Lithonia music video? I believe that you can watch it now, just out. But when it first dropped, th- it was really cool. They just texted it to a bunch of people, and the like rule that they were like asking people to abide by was just like copy and paste and send the link to whoever, but That's don't, sick. but don't post it, but you can text this to as many people as you want. And they just wanted the music video to get spread by people just sharing it with each other and not by like posting it or like pirating it. And then I think eventually they posted it themselves like a week later, but that's pretty the Lithon- sick. The Lithonia music video was just like going around wor- literally like word of mouth. It's pretty sick. That's so cool. Yeah. Actually, fuck. I hate that that's cool to me because in reality. Why? You just don't want to admit anything's cool. <laughs> no. The reason I hate it is prob- because like, I don't know. I just It I, wouldn't um, work unless it was somebody that was really big. That is also very well respected. Just, I'm like just picturing that. that fucking room full of marketers. God. Listen, I like, I went, like, I just, I know... How those? I went to school for advertising, bro. You're poisoned. I know, Your I brain know what is it's literally about. Literally poisoned. <laughs> it's just. I mean, it's probably good, and you know, the the seed of the idea was solid. Like, oh, like let's remember when, like, like uh, either the first episode of South Park, or it was. I think it was the first episode of the South Park, the pilot episode. Um, that shit got passed around on VHS. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's how it. Like, we went viral. Yeah. Through the mail and through hand to hand. Yeah, that's so sick. It's awesome. It's so cool. So I'm sure someone was like, that's so cool. That's how and like then, bootleg comedy records used to get really big too. People yeah. would like sneak recording devices into comedy cellars and shit like that. And like 
would sell these like bootleg single or great or Grateful Dead shows. Yeah. Yeah. Boot, like real bootleg shit was probably so cool back in the day. You I have I mean? a bootlegged um, Beatles record. Really? It is a live recording. It's awful. Yeah. It sounds like dog of shit. Of course it does. But I'm pretty sure it's a bootleg of a live uh I'll try to concert? find it. I'll That's try to cool. find it. Um, I like that. Yeah. It's probably I it. worth a shit ton of money. Unless it's like a I, copy of a very well known bootleg. I think it's like a copy of a well known bootleg. Um, I found it in a in a record store for like three bucks. I was like, the Beatles, what is this? And it, the cover was all white. But it's not the white album. But it's, and I was like, oh, is this the white album? And then I was like, this is not, but <laughs> I'll take this. Cool. Um, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, what all right, s- how do we do that, Carl? How do we appear to be organic, you know? Those are the questions that are important as an artist to ask yourself. How can I appear to could others imagine, as though could you I am if, doing like, cool if, things? If that's what we tried to do at this current stage, stage we were like, hey, uh, I'm texting you all this video. Uh, please text it to more people, but please also don't, don't post, post it. it. <laughs> Saying texting it to other people. The texting thing makes sense. That's like, I mean, hey, like I at a at a at a low level, um, or especially with like SMS marketing, like those like e- they're like email blasts, but with text messages. You know, the like you could text it to a bunch of people. I don't have a single problem with that. What I think is is, the, is you couldn't do the no posting thing. Yeah. Does everyone see that Carl doesn't have a mustache? It's fucking weirding me out right now. I'm anyway. a baby. Um. What I wanted to say was maybe what I'll do is you, you know look like a mad you, scientist right now with the mustache. Like, OK, I'm going to cover up in my I can't see. I don't want to see your tattoos and stuff. When you have the mustache, you look like you look like a fucking like, you know, a hipster. But now you look like a mad scientist because you got the messy hair. Yeah. I need a haircut pretty bad. Yeah. So what I was going to say was maybe what I'll do to promote music is, you know, those holiday texts that you get that's like, what's up, you fucking slut? It's the 4th of July. It's yeah. time to come it's ca- it's time to suck cum. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All those. <laughs> that's what I'm going to do. That's it? It's Olympic formal release day, you fucking slut. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, speaking of promotion... Promotion time! I have a show, August. <laughs> Promotion time! Promotion time! I think it's August 23rd. August 23rd, I will be playing a show. Sun Grove. Somebody that listens to this podcast, come to the fucking show and say, I'm here because I listen to the podcast. Yeah. One person. Yeah. That's all we want. Just one. I just mean, one. multiple would be great. Don't no. like. No, text each other and make sure it's just one of you guys coming. <laughs> Um, yeah, August 23rd at the Moon Room. Um, where is that? Great, great question, Carl. <laughs> it is in Los Angeles, <laughs> I believe, somewhere in one of the East, Central, or West Hollywood areas. <laughs> I don't know, somewhere, maybe Mid City. I don't fucking know. I, I just, I just got the date confirmed today. Um, I'm just telling you guys, put it on your calendars because I know uh, some of you guys were asking about when we're playing shows. Um, This will be an acoustic show. Not fully acoustic, though. I just started working it out in the studio right before this podcast. I'm not. Hopefully it can work out, but don't expect just me and acoustic guitar. Carl will be there. Um, The venue is really nice. It has a baby grand. Oh, Um, sick. So you can play an actual piano. Um, and uh, my guitar player, Cole, will also be there. Fucking god moding his fretboard. Um, what I was messing around with, I don't want to spoil it too much. We're not going to spoil it right here. I, I'm plugging my acoustic guitar through my pedal board because I don't want to lose all my effects. So, should be pretty interesting. Probably going to film the whole thing, too. Maybe. Who knows? 4K now. 
4K now. Anyway, yeah, so August 23rd market calendars. I will have more details for you soon. Um, what else do I have on that little list there? Yeah, I'm confused. This is David's itinerary for the episode today. What does spleen mean? I was going to ask you, do you know what your spleen does? No. Next question. That's it. Uh, <laughs> I, was, I was just thinking about it, and I was like, dude, I have no fucking idea how... First off, there's probably organs in my body that I don't know. I don't know what your spleen does. I don't know where it is, and I don't know what it looks like. I think it's here. It's a the sp- only thing I know is I think your spleen can get inflamed if you have mono. Like, that's the only thing I know about it. Gotcha. Gallbladder. What the fuck does gallbladder do? That produces... All I know is it bursts. <laughs> your gallbladder produces bile to break down food. Is it bile with a B or vile with a V? Bile with a B. So it, when I'm vomiting and I'm like done vomiting and I and it, it's that last little bit, that's called bile? Yeah. No. Wait, 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 no. wait, 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 wait. No. No, you're no. crazy. No. No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. Come on. <laughs> wait, you, you've been calling it vile your whole life? No. I'm not the only one who says that. Yeah, I think you are. <laughs> Hang on. You it, know, this is fucking kind of... It's very vile to throw up bile. How do I even Google that? Like, what's the shit that comes out of my mouth? What does your gallbladder do? Let's try that. What does your gallbladder do? Bio with a B. <laughs> but does bio with a B become vile with no, a V it when does it leaves? Not. When it's, it's not like magma and lava when it's magma when it's underground and Why it's not? vile when it's outside in oxygen. Why not? <laughs> I think that could work. Okay. Do whatever you want. Bile, huh? So we don't know what the spleen does, but No, yeah, I was thinking about I was like, I don't know. Okay, what is um what what does your kidneys do? Your I kid- know a lot of people probably in the they're probably I know what kidney what do kidneys do? Don't they like filter your urine? I'm pretty do sure. Do they have like okay, what okay, but when you think of a kidney or like a like a liver. Or they help filter blood, I believe. I don't know. They filter some shit, but also okay. Now picture a kidney. Yeah, I can picture a kidney. You can. Yeah. Does it have like tubes and like on either end? I believe it does. Okay, it's now picture a liver. I can picture a liver. I can only picture liver from the store. I can picture what a liver looks like. I can like. picture like beef liver, and there's no like tubes. Is that just a piece of liver? Liver? How's that one work? Well, I was just really I know absolutely nothing about the human body other than lungs, heart, and brain. Stomach? Yeah, yeah, intestines. Intestines? Yeah, yeah. Colon? The, is the colon is the, is the colon just the End or just the whole John? No, no, no. That's your whole intestine, intestinal tract. And then the colon is like the end, p- end piece, right? I believe so, yeah. Yeah. The ender. Uh, Give du- me my list. Duodenum. Huh? Duodenum. What is that? It's like part of your esophagus. It's like the very end of your esophagus. Oh. Um, shout out to our newest member of the family. Cup, his name is Cup. This is a photo of Cup. Here Cup you go. is short for Cecil B. Moore. Yep, which, which is, is short <laughs> for Cecil B. B. Moore Avenue. Um, <laughs> yeah, Justine and I went to um, we went to a reptile show. Justine, do you want to bring Cup on the podcast? Well, how can she do that if she's never to be seen on the podcast? Is she I'll just hand them to you? I'll hold Cup. Um, we went to a reptile show, which if you don't know what it is, it's a convention for uh, reptiles. How would, the, how would they ever guess? Yeah, they went on Sunday and uh, Justine knew that she would be swayed into purchasing Cup, but she still went. Yeah, get the TikTok hand going when you're sharing a product. He's a blue skink. 
He's a blue-tongued skink. You don't have a microphone, so stop talking. Right. <laughs> uh, and he's fucking sick. He was in my bed last night. He licked my leg. That was a weird feeling. Yeah. Um, he's always hungry. They're cool. Uh, they're cool as shit. He's li- his legs are tiny. Yeah, so blue tongue skinks like are an not... an early evolution being of sorts. Yeah, he looks like if a snake grew hands. Have you seen that fucking meme? And it's from the bear. And it's like... <laughs> it literally goes... It's the bear. And it's Carmi going, Hands! I need fucking hands! Oh, yeah. Where are hands? Yeah, yeah, and yeah, then yeah. it's like snakes fucking 100,000 years ago. Yeah, yeah. Hands! Where are fucking hands? Yeah. <laughs> and then, and then Cup came to be. Yeah. Um, if you're like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Why are you calling this thing Cup? We, we, there's a bunch of names for them. Um, it's because Justine had a, uh, had a ball python and its name was Ozzy, but we just called it anything but. But eyes, but, but Ozzy. Ozzy. Um, <laughs> yeah, so we're at this reptile convention. Can have you ever been to a convention, a con? Have just you ever a, been to a con? Just the Philadelphia Auto Show, which is in the convention center, but that's not really a nah, con. Nah, 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 nah. You guys been to a con? They're they're strange. I really want to go to uh, a synth con. Yes, obviously, but no, I want to go to the L.A. Tattoo Convention. That'd be fun. Specifically, when and where is that? Uh, well, it's at the convention center downtown, I imagine, and I don't know when it is. But my cousin has debated getting a stand there <laughs> over the years. It would be sick because then I could just go to the convention and see the convention and get tattooed by her out here, which would be sick. But anyway. Yeah, conventions. conventions. They're just um, I don't know. Just like just generally speaking, they just all have this vibe to them. I used to I used to do like martial arts growing up a lot, and a lot of the competitions were in convention centers, um, and like hotel convention halls. So every time I go, I've gone to a few reptile shows with Justine because she really likes reptiles, which also is a weird concept to me as a whole. Like. The reptile community is fucking like real and alive. Those motherfuckers like their scaly friends. Um, I don't know. I just, I just wanted to see if you ever been to a to a convention before. I would go. I want to go to the Minecraft convention and watch all of the Q and A's. There's a. Mo- <laughs> <laughs> um. All right. So we got Cup, Blue Tongue Skink, Josie, the Husky Boxer, Pitbull. Our house is a zoo. Yeah, it is. Carl's going to get a pet? I am. What are you going to get? I don't know. David said I'm not allowed to get a rabbit because they, they stink. stink. They stink. They smell bad. I don't they like... They just piss. You know They're what, rodents. You know what? I don't fuck... Yeah, I mean, I don't... Yeah. Guinea pigs suck, too. Have you ever been to somebody's house who was a guinea pig? I used to have guinea pigs. Ew. God. Yeah. I hate guinea pigs. Yeah. I It died, and... Uh, Good. <laughs> No, I'm just... It died? I'm, I'm kidding. It died. Fuck, and what did my dad just tell me? He just, like, dropped a bomb on me about it. Like... <laughs> <laughs> like, it died, and he saw it was dead. But <laughs> it was, like, early. In the, he woke up in the morning to go to work, saw it was dead. was like, that's a dead whatever. And then just... There was another one in there that was alive. Oh no! And he's just like, I. Uh, he's like, I'm not about to like wake the kids up. And be like it's dead. It's dead. He's like, I gotta get to work. I'll just deal with it. I get home. And he let it, like us find it or something like that. Oh okay. Yeah. I think there was some more to the story, and I remember being like, Holy shit! Anyway. I thought you meant your dad was. I I thought you were gonna say like, I I'm late. I gotta get to work. I'll just deal with it when I get home. And then he came home later, and like the other one like ate half of the dead one or some shit like that. He assumed that's what was going to happen. Oh, God, dude. <laughs> he was like, I mean, something horrible is going to happen, but or something like that. I don't know. I don't know what happened. Whatever. Anyway, so no rabbits. I think you could, you could get a bird. Fuck birds. I don't want a bird. I like birds. Birds are funny. They are funny, but they shit a lot. They shit a lot. Yeah. And they stink, too. Not as bad as rabbits, but I went to a bird store the Just, other day. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 
which is a full on bird. Why store. do so many garden nurses nurseries have a bird in them? Have you ever been to like a garden store that has a fucking like parrot for some reason? I think you're just to, thinking of the one in no, the back. No, there's been to multiple. All in Pennsylvania. I haven't had this experience out here. But I've been to at least three that had a fucking parrot for no goddamn reason. Hmm. Weird. I don't know. Maybe it just sticks out to you. But what else are you going to... Where like, where are you going to have a parrot in a restaurant? That's disgusting. At a parrot store? Well, yeah, but like... I, I saw a parrot... Actually, I saw a parrot... Um, at a coffee shop one time, in the back of a coffee shop, I'm down seemed with that. unsanitary. Definitely in unsanitary for it to be in the back. If it's up front, mm. that's okay. No, no, yeah, it was like just with in the, the seating area. Oh, that's fine. It was a pretty big coffee shop. Um, yeah, there's the bodega cat. You know the classic bodega cat. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. I, <laughs> I went to this bar on Friday, and one of the managers, the owner, I don't know. Had his two pit bulls there, no collar, no leash. They're just running around in the bar, coming up to people, saying hello, wagging their fucking tails, giving kisses and shit. It was awesome. The It's called La Fay. Such a cool spot. It's over in Echo Park. Sick. Music wasn't too loud. DJ was awesome. The drinks were great. Comfortable. Lots of like... With dogs. Yeah, with dogs. Sick spot. Hell yeah. Cool. I dig it. Bar dogs. They're you got pitbulls. it, dude. It, I'm ta- I, people got to stop bringing their dogs into public without proper proper training. I agree. Man, you go to an outdoor fucking beer garden, everyone and their mother's got their dog there. You know, and I say this. I'm, <laughs> I'm hard on myself for how for my dog. If my dog's misbehaved, I don't... I'm not like, ah, it's cute. Like, I take responsibility if my dog's being a piece of shit. Like, she's kind of reactive towards other dogs. She doesn't love other dogs. I get embarrassed. I'm like, All right, I can't be here, right? Um, but we're working on it. Don't judge her. Um, man, though, people people got misbehaved dogs. Anyway. Yeah, I fucking don't. I agree. Like, I, it's not just, like, violent, by the way. Like, if your dog won't shut the fuck up, yeah. leave it at home. Like, That's actually, stop. it's actually more, I actually kind of have a soft spot. I mean, I've talked about this on the pod. I have a soft spot for like reactive dogs when they don't like each other. And they're, most of the time the dogs are just afraid. And yeah. after a minute they'll calm down and they might react to each other. But if you're like on opposite ends of the room and everyone's just calm in fucking 10 minutes, they'll calm down and they'll stop paying attention to the other dog. It's the dogs that are loud annoying and this is why i kind of hesitated to be like oh that's so sick because you said the pit bulls were like i would probably really like it because i like the dogs but like i like pit bulls but like dogs coming up to me and like getting in my fucking face i love dogs love them but sometimes dogs just do too much yeah and these, then, these dogs if you didn't give them attention they weren't like bothering you that's sick yeah. but you know how people are like they're like oh, you, you, you. or the worst when a dog is like barking at you or your dog and they're like, oh, he just wants to play. And it's like, that dog doesn't want to play. That dog wants to fucking eat my dog. Yeah. All right, so. I don't know. Maybe a big fat bullfrog. You, you get a bullfrog? Spray him with water. Just spray him with water and feed him bugs. I like the little bullfrogs with the little asses. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> you see them on Instagram. They got little I asses. So, yeah. What else could I get? What, uh, what kind of exotic pets... Would I own? I owned a parakeet when I was younger. I don't necessarily know. My man, it would be so cool if I could have a, you could get a bird to hang out on your shoulder all day. Or a monkey. I, no, I wouldn't own a monkey. I wouldn't. I, you know, I love them. You know, it chimps. Is, I don't, I, yeah, I don't fuck. I don't fuck with. Chimps are my some of my favorite animals. Um, ever. I love chimps. I think they're so cool. I think they're so interesting. If you guys haven't watched Chimp, have we talked about Chimp Empire on here? No, I don't even know what that is. Dude. <laughs> Chimp Empire is on fucking Netflix. It's one of the coolest documentaries I've ever seen. It's uh it's a nature doc. They follow around real fucking like clans of chimps in the jungle. And they have like fucking turf wars. Damn. It's wild. Really? They like show the power struggle within the like family or the clan or whatever you call them. And then there's like rival clans and they like literally go to battle. 
And Whoa. they'll be like, this is our territory. And they invade the fucking territory of another, of a rival gang's fucking shit. And then they fight. And then the ones retreat. And then the other ones have more territory now. It's the coolest. That's really interesting because I was just talking about uh, humans and human nature with somebody recently. And th- we were talking about how ants are one of the only other animals in the world at the at this point in the conversation we were she was saying that it was the only other animal that goes to war but i guess you could consider chimps going to war too well do the ants like go to war war or like the the chimps were just like i mean yeah. that's i don't know it was a pretty it was this was like a it was like a planned attack They're like we're going to move in i don't know that's sick. I love that ants go to war. Yeah. That makes me so they happy. Have, I mean, ants have like <laughs> pretty complicated societies if you think about it. Like they have yeah. the whole colonies, they have workers, they have slaves. They do? No, they're just I mean, I don't know. There's oh, no there's funny. no money. I Classic don't think there's Carl being no, the funny guy, huh? No such thing as quality of life for an ant, right? So, how can there be slaves if they're not self-aware? But they have like higher society, the queen and the Ants that are designated to impregnate the queen. Yeah. And then they have the workers and they have soldiers and they have builders. There's a bug. Scavengers. Fuck. There's a bug that in uh it like injects um the ant with like a neurotoxin and it gets the ant to like think it's this other bug is the queen and it like brings it into the thing and they just something like that. It's like crazy. I don't know. Sorry, I'm doing a bad job of describing insects it do crazy shit. Insects are wild. They do crazy um, shit. Um elephants are pretty sick. What? Elephants <laughs> are pretty cool. I like them. Oh, yeah. Elephants are dope. Uh and we're we're almost out of time here, friend. Fuck. What were you gonna bring up? Yeah, I got to talk about it. I can make it work. What? M. Night Shyamalan. Here, you want me to pause it? it was, I'll just, yeah, here. All right. M. Night Shyamalan. M. Night Shyamalan. All right. Here's my take. Hold on. What? You, can't just, you don't even, you haven't even described what we're talking about. M. Night Shyamalan. Everybody knows who the fuck he is. He made. Right. I'll, let you, I'll, I'll see if you get to what I'm. What you're gonna answer my question that I have. Go ahead. I think M Night Shyamalan needs to not make any more movies. Oh, oh okay. Okay. Yeah, you answer. I thought you were gonna make something specific about the one coming out. No. M Night Shyamalan has not made any good movies in a long time. He made The Sixth Sense, yeah. right? Yeah. And Fuck, s- that is a good movie. Yeah. <laughs> Split is not enough to save his fucking entire career from being absolutely shitty the last 10 years split was all right I like split. have you ever seen the happening the maybe. worst movie ever made maybe it's starring mark Wahlberg. no nah. and uh i'm thinking of the one with uh zoe de chanel she's mm-hmm. in it as well what's the one with the kids like scratching the numbers into the desk the n- that's knowing no i don't think that's m night Shyamalan. no that's what i know but yeah. that's what i thought of the happening Mark Wahlberg, he's like a teacher, and one day the plants decide to release a toxin into the air that makes humans kill themselves. And essentially it's like... True, true. Essentially it's plants getting revenge on humans for destroying the world. And Plants? Yes. And it's... Plants. So Was this an orchestrated attack? Like, Like ants and chimpanzees? I don't, I mean, I don't know, but you would, okay, so it's funny that you say that. Like, how the fuck, like, plants. Is it, is it yes, plants. P L A N T S. Thank you. Plants. <laughs> At one point, Mark Wahlberg begs for his life to a plant in the corner of the room in a house that they're in, and it turns out to be a fake plant. It's ridiculous. And they're like, 
The climax huh. of the movie, they're fucking like in the middle of this field and they see like the grass start to blow over from the wind and they literally just take off running from the wind. They're like, hurry, run this way. And it's like the wind is blowing across the field. It's just is it so satire? Fucking, no, it's serious. It's like a, it was like a kind of scary thriller because in the trailer, I remember seeing the trailer for it when I was a kid and it freaked me out. A guy, a farmer lays down in front of a combine and lets it run over him. That was in, in the trailer. That image stuck in my head forever. Damn. And then I saw it and I was like, this is so ass. Anyway, Old. That's another M. Night Shyamalan movie that sucked a bunch of dick. 2008. Uh, that oh, was, you mean uh, Old, like the movie. Yeah, Old. That came out recently. That was. Uh, I heard that was bad. Yeah, that's about a beach that makes you old. <laughs> And uh, it and what's the new one that's coming sucked. out? It's called Trap. And let me guess, someone gets M Night Shyamalan has like been made famous for the twist, the very end. Something happens; it reveals itself that what you thought is not actually. Wouldn't it be a big twist if there was no twist in this one? It like, it's just at that's this kinda- point. At this point, right. He's so well known for it that I'm just like fucking sick of him riding on that. Like he just writes a fucking twist into the end of the movie. I was going to say, dude, it's like classic M. Night Shyamalan. What a genius. That sucks. Think about being pigeonholed like that. He's doing it to himself, though. He doesn't have to fucking do it. He doesn't. Which is why I said, what a twist. If you're like, whoa, that's exactly how I thought this movie was going to end. Anyway. I the reason I bring all this up is because I want to try to show that he is not that fucking great. Because I have a prediction for what the twist of Trap is going to be. Okay, why don't you describe what the trailer looked? Because I, I don't think I've seen the trailer. So okay. describe what it would be like. What Trap or, is? Like what, yeah, what Trap is. Okay, so Trap, the trailer, for what I've seen, is this guy is at a concert with his daughter. Oh, this piece of shit. It looks so bad. Yeah, he's at a concert with his daughter. And he's like, hey, Jeannie, I'm going to go take a shit. I'll be right back. And he goes... And then he uh, takes his shit and he comes out and there's like uh, lots of security and shit like that. And he goes to like buy a fucking bucket of popcorn or something. He's like, hey, what's going on here? And the guy's like, I'm not supposed to tell you. And he's like, can you keep a secret? And he tells him this whole concert isn't real. It's a trap. You know that serial killer that's been chopping people up? Well, the police found out that he's going to be here. And this whole they set up this whole concert as a trap to get him. There's no way to get out of here. Like, they're going to get him. And then it's like, zoom out. And he's like, oh, shit. And then the rest of the trailer is the dad, like, pushing people downstairs and shit to distract the police and stealing a walkie-talkie from one of the cops when they're not looking and just, like, doing all this fucking, like, spy-esque, I'm going to escape the arena shit. So it's like, okay, and from an obvious look, he's the fucking serial killer chopping people up, and he's trying to get out of the concert. And the obvious twist is? His daughter kills people. That's what I think. Oh. I think that his daughter is like one of those weird kids that like kills squirrels and shit, and then she graduated to people and started chopping them up, and he's like, it's not my fault that my daughter is weird. Don't put her in prison forever. She can't help it. She just kills people. Doesn't come out for a couple of weeks, no? Or is it out? Uh, no, it's not out yet. But uh, yeah, I think that he's trying to be all badass Jason Bourne, escape the thing, beat up police and shit because his daughter is the serial killer, but she's like, you know. All right, let's see. I'll predict that um, uh, he's not the serial killer. It won't be his daughter. I don't think it's going to be someone completely different. I think it'll be something completely... Uh, the, you, the whole time, he'll be like, oh, shit, I kill people. And he's going to be like, I'm trying to like get away. Yeah, and then he's going to get out, and then they're going to... like Someone else is going to get arrested. But yeah, I just think... Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's like... Because here's the thing, is that you know that it's not... Because it's M. Night Shyamalan, you know that it's not what the trailer is making you think that it is. But, because he's the twist guy. But what if... He gets it now, and he's like, you know what? I'm not going to twist. <laughs> this is it. I'm done twisting. I'm done twisting. Good. 
I would enjoy that so much more. All if right. it turns out that the dad is the serial killer and he just like escapes with his daughter happily ever after and then he like goes off and gets to keep killing people, I'll be totally satisfied with that. But to be completely honest with you, I'm not going to see this fucking movie. The Wait, second well, you co- have to now. No, I'm, go- I'm going to just look it up. I'm not giving no. I'm not giving M Night Shyamalan no, a fucking no, shit. No, no, you have to go see it. You have to. Okay, here's the first time I ever saw The Sixth Sense. So, we all know he's been dead the whole time. And if you didn't know that, you were like me a few years ago. I had heard that. <laughs> now you are no longer. And now you are no longer. You know, you've heard it. You've heard it your whole life. So did I. He's been dead. He was dead the whole time. He was dead the whole time. And it was just one of those things that was just in the zeitgeist. You know, I just knew it. He's been dead the whole time. And then I watched that whole fucking movie. And not only did it blow my mind for the movie, because I was like, holy shit, he's been dead the whole time. And then I was like, holy shit. It's that, this movie. It's this fucking movie. <laughs> Man, my mind was fucking blown. You know, oh. Even better twist than he's been dead the whole time. Ocean's Eleven, dude. Oh, I had, again what a classic. never seen it. Never fucking seen it. They do the whole heist and then they give the big reveal of how they got out. I was watching with Carl. He's obviously seen it, and I was just I was silent the whole time. And then the they like and then blah blah blah. We get out, and I go, that's fucking awesome. Yeah. I was my mind was blown. That was sick. Ocean's Eleven. What a good movie. Did we ever watch Ocean's Twelve? Yes. But have you seen 13 yet? No. Okay. Yeah, those movies are sick. I love them. You know what movie wasn't sick? Heat. Oh, God. Yeah. I know that's like a critically acclaimed fucking movie. That shit blows. That's the most boring movie ever. I I mean, like, I'm sure it gets good near the end. I've heard that that the final heist is sick, but it's not worth an hour and 45 minutes of, like, Al Pacino going around and pretending to not be a villain for once. Yeah. Oh God. Anyway, did we hit all our my all our marks? <coughs> uh M Night, Reptile Shows, Cup. Childish album in the spleens. All right. Uh goodbye everybody. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. We will see you guys soon. Remember, this podcast was sponsored by us. And playing this show on August 23rd at the Moon Room. I will give you more information soon um, when I have it. Probably by next week I'll have more information. I will have a link if there's tickets. If not, it might be, I'm trying to make it a free show. Um, if somebody comes out and says, hey, I know you from the podcast, man. I'll buy you a beer. Yeah, I'll buy you a beer. Or Diet Coke or whatever, you, whatever you're into. Goodbye. Have a great day. See you soon. Subscribe. Subscribe. Take care.